What's good guys, welcome back to a very special episode of GNG News. In this video, I am going to be wonder trading some Pokemon. So without further ado, let's uh, start this off. We're going to Festival Plaza, clicking on trade, uh, going to wonder trade. I've just caught a load of Pokemon. I actually am using a full team of unknowns, some of them which I transferred from previous Pokemon games that I have. Uh, I'm also going to do a video as well and show you guys how to use the Pokemon Transporter app that I recently downloaded. I basically sent a load of Pokemon that were from Pokemon Crystal, which is Generation 3, into um, Generation 7, which is the Alola region. We are currently on Generation 8, which is the Galar region. So yeah, you can basically send Pokemon from older Pokemon games into newer Pokemon games via this app. It's free to download as well on your 2DS or 3DS. I've downloaded it on my 3DS XL. So without further ado, we're going to wonder trade some Pokemon. So as you can see, that little symbol just there shows you that it's from uh, basically an original game. So we've got a few NKs, so let's send one of these, which is a level 5. Quickly put my uh, 3DS on charge, as it's going to die any second. As you guys can see, that little red light that keeps flashing. Okay, we've got a Swinlub. Not amazing, but the thing is I haven't caught one of them before, so I guess it's a bit better. Okay, so that's another one that we can add into our little collection. Can zoom in for a second. Okay, so let's see what else we've got to trade for today. There will be another video as well that will go up soon of my continuation in the story of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I was talking to some of the NPCs and I was going to do a video where I went to the Pokemon Trainer School because apparently uh, due to me talking to this girl in the game there's like some ghost that's at the Pokemon Trainer School so I thought it'd be cool for us to go and investigate. So I'm going to trade up another NK which is a level 6. Not the best level I know, but what can you do, eh? you got to work with what you got. Now, what basically what I did to catch all these Pokemon, if you guys were wondering how I caught all these Pokemon, I essentially just went to like the first set of grass on the first island and um, Big Wave Beach and just caught as many Pokemon as I possibly could as obviously they're low level, they're not hard to catch. And I used that um, in order for me to gain a load of XP with all the unknowns that I have. One of the things that I wanna try and do, and good thing is I have a couple of Pokemon games that I can obtain unknowns in and put in my Pokemon bank to transfer to Ultra Moon. I wanna try and get the whole alphabet of unknowns. But I thought that'd be pretty cool to have and just troll on a team and just have like a load of unknowns. Because unknown is, is, is not a useless Pokemon, unless you have it at a high level. It can only learn the move uh, Hidden Power, and that is literally all it can do. It's a mythical Pokemon, obviously, you know, it hasn't got no, hasn't got no hyper powerful move. It doesn't have no really cool ability or anything like that. I just, I just think they're a cool design. So I just want to collect all of them from probably Pokemon Crystal and all the Pokemon games that I have, transfer them across using the um, Pokemon Transporter app into obviously Pokemon Bank and then send them to Ultra Moon. So we've got Skomori. Nice. Also as well guys, if you were looking for Pokemon Booster Packs cheap, there seems to be a lot of people on eBay around Christmas that are doing like these um, uh, Pokemon bundles 
for like 20, 30 quid. And I've seen some for like 20 pound for original base booster pack, so I, I'm gonna have a look into it to make sure they're real um, and have a look at the reviews because uh, I might buy something very special for the channel very soon. As you guys know, Christmas is coming up. And um, as you've seen, I used the advent calendar QR scan code earlier today to uh, get an island scan for my copy of Pokemon Ultra Moon. But yeah, I want to um, I want to do something special for you know the festive period. So I think that'll be pretty cool if I can buy maybe some old booster packs or get a get a load of new ones or something. I don't know. I'll let you know once I've decided what I'm doing tomorrow when I get paid. Okay, a Lola Meowth. Uh, got another NK we can trade. Also, if you guys didn't know, Inkay is one of the only Pokemon where you have to turn your device, whether that be a DS, um, you know, the several different DSs that you can get. You have to turn your DS device upside down in order to evolve it into Malmar. I know, it's very weird, but uh, yeah. Shout out to Lucas, who was the person who uh, told me about that. I was stuck trying to evolve Inkay. And he literally just turned my DS upside down and was like, now try and do it. So there are quite a few Pokemon that have their weird little um, weird little ways that you have to evolve and whether it's with an item in a certain area, you know, through friendship, so on and so forth. But I guess, I guess it just makes the game more fun and more immersive. Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna trade a level 12 Mankey Generation 1 Pokemon. This video is gonna be roughly about 17 minutes long, and if you're gonna to say to me, why is this video gonna be 17 minutes long? Because that's about as much memory of as I have left on my camera. So I'm hope I'm hoping, I am really hoping that we can get something decent in the Wonder Trades. As you guys seen in my previous videos, I got a level 100 mythical Pokemon. None other than Marshadow, the fighting ghost type Pokemon, um, which is one of my favourites. And yeah, that was just completely random, you know. But that was 50 minutes of me trading, and I think it was like 40, maybe 47 minutes in, I randomly got traded that Pokemon. So it shows you that, you know, you have to participate in order to get these Pokemon, but the likeliness of this happening. Sometimes, like I said, I've won the trader before and got really high level Pokemon and Shinies, Mythicals, uh, so on and so forth. Other times I've played for like two to three hours and just received a load of Caterpies and a load of Weedles. So, you know, you gotta put you got to put the effort in. But you never know what could happen, guys. I hope you're all enjoying your Sunday as well. Go and check out my previous videos if you collect the um, Adrenaline XL official Premier League 2019 to 2020 booster pack cards. I opened up a pack earlier for my nephew as I'm not into football, my nephew is. He supports Chelsea, so I am essentially just buying the cards, opening them and trying to assemble like all of the Chelsea team and all the Chelsea cards for him because I'm going to give that to him for Christmas and I'm going to buy him a load of sealed cards as well. But annoyingly, only today I actually found somewhere that had the Adrenaline XL um, official calendar obviously he now has an advent calendar but it, that's probably something i'll buy him for next year but i didn't actually know that they did that i wish pokemon did like some sort of like pokemon booster um calendar i think that would be pretty cool and i would buy it so so far we haven't really been trading anything that i would say was wonderful for a wonder trade But I wouldn't say that we've been trading anything awful either. Let's 
say goodbye to Monkey. Okay, we've got a mud bro. And the other thing as well, why I would say to you guys to win the trade when you start playing a Pokemon game, you can receive a lot of dex entries via doing this. And another way that, another thing that I would tell you guys to do if you frequently play Pokemon games, like you've played older Pokemon games and you've just got onto Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, transfer your Pokemon via using the Pokemon Bank if you want to do that into your newer Pokemon game. But I understand once you transfer further, further than the generation that they have been um, transferred, you can't transfer them back. So if you want to keep certain Pokemon in certain games, that's understandable. If you're like me and you play a wide variety of Pokemon games and you want to bring them all forward to your latest Pokemon game to have them all in one place, you can also do that as well. It's entirely up to you. Sending off a Mankey and we got a Wing Goal in return. Another cool thing that can happen as well, I have had someone before who I thought trolled me. They sent me a Weedle that they named Master Ball and I was just like, why have they named this Master Ball? And as the held item, it was a Master Ball. So always check the held items afterwards, you know, and the abilities, because sometimes people will try and troll you into believing that it's worse than what it is. But then you will get people who will try and troll you into believing something is better than what it is because I've had people send me before a Magikarp that's been entitled like as Kurim and Zygarde and stuff like that when clearly it's not that. So you know Wonder Trade is one of them things where you get good days, you get bad days but if you don't participate you'll never know. There is also other versions of trade that you can do. I might do videos on them in the future like you can do Link Trade and GTS Trade uh, where you can trade between your friends or you can do the GTS trade, which is the global trade system, which is um, essentially you can put Pokemon into the global trade system. If people want them Pokemon out or are needing to tra trade them, you can trade these Pokemon and vice versa. So if you were looking for a certain Pokemon, you could say you wanted a Zekrom or something, you could put in that you wanted to trade a Zekrom for a certain Pokemon and then it would come up and show people that were willing to do that trade with you. So it's another way that you can do it, but a lot of the time you'll get people that will want uh, like a high level, po like something ridiculous um, for the Pokemon that you want. So there you go, I've just added another Pokemon into our Pokedex, which is Stuffles. Already have a beware, but it's a Pokemon spot that I've now added in, so I'm not going to have to look for that within the game. So we've completed another page in our Pokedex as well, as you can see here. Stuffle is entry 205. We've got about three minutes left on this video, I reckon we'll probably be able to do maybe two more trades in that time, so hopefully we can get something decent. If you guys have enjoyed watching this episode of GMG News, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications and like the video. If you think it deserves a like and share it with your friends if you want other people to see this. We're going to trade a pet a lily now, uh, level 11, it has no held item, this was something I caught in Ultra Sun, no sorry, in Ultra Moon. Um, so yeah, like I said, you just gotta participate in these trades if you you know you want a chance of getting these shiny mythical or legendary Pokemon through Wonder Trade, it's completely random. But if you guys want to trade and you want guaranteed decent tr decent Pokemon traded to you, um, add up my DS friends code. I'm gonna start to put it in the description of all of my like DS videos that I'm doing so you guys can add me up in that and trade because I've had some really cool and interesting trades with you guys via doing this. So Petalini, there she goes. What do we get in return? A Fomantis. Someone's named it Topa. As you can see, another Dex entry for me. And we've just filled another page of our Pokedex as well. So yeah, it is a useful function. 
Wonder Trade has been in Pokemon games for a very long time. Okay, final trade for today. Another Petalily level 11. This is a female. It has no held item and it was caught in Ultra Moon. If you guys want to add up my social medias, Twitter, my name is General underscore Music underscore. Uh, Instagram, my name is GNG News. They're probably the best two ways for you guys to get hold of me. Unless you obviously comment in the comment section down below. I check my YouTube pretty much every single day. So I'm pretty easy to get hold of if there's any sort of new videos that you guys want me to come out with and make, just let me know. So we found a trading partner who apparently loves the Unova region. Let's see what we get this time. Dun, 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 dun. And another Mudbra. So nothing decent this time guys, but like I said, you gotta participate and you gotta try. Thank you for watching. I've been GNG News. You guys have been my lovely audience. And that is basically nearly 17 minutes of wonder trading in Ultra Moon. See you in the next video. Keep on smiling.